Hello Pirates, uh, this is Mad Dog here. <clears throat> I figured I would uh, bring up a video today on the Furies. Now, I just purchased uh, this, uh, this one uh, fleet right here. It's got uh, Pharaoh's Fury along with the others. But what makes them how do you say uh stand out excuse me i just got done eating a snack so but i'm gonna cancel this right cancel this repair right quick and show you what these came up with <clears throat> okay uh now pharaohs all these came with the rune scatter guns uh war plating three that i already have <clears throat> Uh, speed system five narrow firing aperture along with the blight acid cluster siege battery three and the uh oh, what is this one high yield warheads now i was going through these and i figured hmm if i go ahead and keep this fleet but build say another fleet of furies just straight furies but put something say uh let's go over here to the uh shipyard go to ship designer and um, what we're going to do is is we'll select the fury hall which is a conqueror of course everybody knows that one um let's see what's up oh, the spite I'll, I'll bring up the spite later i might get you to have some use for that spite but um what i did was is to get back to it is um i started going through and started checking um you know the scatter guns okay now both both of these are they're scatter guns. They're both corrosive. They both have the same amount of range. Um, the calamity weighs about three hundred tons versus four hundred fifteen on the rune. So um, what I I was also thinking about putting the conflagration up, which was at three hundred forty tons, but you know looking at say 300 weight that's pretty good so i went ahead and i just figured what the hey i'll go ahead and put those on i'll put everything else like the specials and just the way you know it's supposed to be But on the oh damn that on um, now if you ever get like the uh, uh, what is it that one uh, scourge engine you know boost <clears throat> don't not nah, don't put that on leave that totally alone you don't need it okay um uh, yeah you put the narrow firing along with your your blight acid clusters heavy yield warheads or high yield warheads along with your siege battery three okay now you got that and then you have the garrison battery. Garrison, I wouldn't even bother putting that on there. I would go with the siege because you, <clears throat> building damage is, and the wall damage is pretty much the same as far as percentage versus the garrison. Now, explosive, yeah, it's got a little bit more bop to it, but you know you'll be able to defend yourself better with this but if i have both the one or the two and the three possibly the four on this garrison battery 
then yeah, I would definitely put it on. No problem. So, uh, but we're going to go with the Siege Battery 3 right now. Now, as you can see, the armor points went up to 93,000. Okay, the damage is at 61 something. So, yeah, let's kind of check out and see how much the, uh, uh, what is it? Repair time is one hour, eight minutes. Now, if I put, say, this on, and just complete the whole fleet, it's going to have everything that it needs. Now it's up at 107 on the armor points, which is the damage is at 61. Now, if we were to put, say, the, uh, the garrison battery on there, it might do a little bit more damage. Not really. So it's pretty much the same as far as the damage goes. It just a scatter gun reloads at 135%. Uh, versus the siege battery. I'm still at 135. So it really didn't make any death, you know, any, you know. Uh, but I think I probably could have put that amalgam uh, uh, armor on here. Oh, I might be able to put that on too, but I doubt it. I'm not really worried about it. There's like a, a special armor that I bought, and it's, I got it through the, uh, oh, what is it? Um, through the Forsaken missions, and it's a, it's an actual special armor, but you know I'm not going to put that on. It's just an actual special. That's it. But uh, this is the, this is the total build right here that I totally recommend. Now, like I said, all the, the ones that I spent forty bucks on all have runes. Now these have all calamities. Okay, so. They're going to do the same bit of damage. They're going to do the same of everything. It's just, you know, you're going to have to build them. But to, let's check out the repair on that, on the, the repair time. Okay, the repair time, it, oh, two hours, about two hours and 40 minutes. Okay, no big deal. It's about the same as the, uh, um, as the uh, other fleet, you know, it's so and then it's berserk mode now, it does have a trigger effect, so anything it, it'll go into its overload, which is gonna do some massive, massive damage. Okay, now the combat speed will be boosted up to 25% with a concussive reload at 75 when this hits so it's going to be hitting pretty fast and pretty hard okay so there's the the berserk effect now let's see what bloodthirst is now the bloodthirst is something totally totally different okay i want to uh stacks per kill is one but you can stack it up as much as, as, as up to 20. Uh, the duplicate aura cap is five at max stacks. So basically all your deflection is the same as far as ballistic, concussive, and, and corrosive. And it is, yes, old snap immune. And yes, even though this is a conqueror hull, it can only be used it can only be used to hit bases, such as the Draconian hubs. You can probably get by hitting the Uranium. Uh, I don't think you're going to be able to do the, um, the Forsaken missions with them because they're, I think this hull is a, uh, 
is a tier six or tier seven, somewhere around there. So, um, you know, you just want to kind of, you know, use your head a little bit. Yeah, I know you guys want to rank these as soon as you build them, but you know what? You got everything. If you now, if you don't have like the narrowed firing aperture or the blight acid uh, clusters or even the high yield warheads, you know you can get these in like the. Um, I think this is in the Forsaken. I think this is Forsaken mission as well, but it might be in the uh, the raid that's coming up here in a couple of days. And I think this right here is you know i bought it with um i take that one fleet but i bought the whole uh the whole kit and caboodle but i don't know if it's in the uh forsaken mission but i do plan on building these you know it, just build them as a second but let's go into the forsaken missions i want to see if see if that came up as one of the prizes I think I got it. Yeah, that heavy lance missile. I've got to build a lot of shit. <laughs> Sorry for my vulgar language, but I've only got a few minutes. So um, this week I'm going to hopefully purchase the whole pro thing. Yeah, you see, I've got the amalgam. G uh, not that. Uh, the Amalgam Armor GCOM, and it's only for generalists, so that that's okay. I can put these on my Zealouses and whatever else. Uh, let's see. I went ahead and I got these, just, you know, the Astro Rockets, just for shits and giggles. Nothing major and everything else. I'm going to try to go out and do some more hitting and get the three-day icebreaker build token to where when I do build them, then it's you know, okay. Uh, also, anything that you might get, you know, if you get, if you got like spare points, yeah, go ahead and buy a few. It helps you out on your builds. So um, go ahead and do that. Well, Let's see, I got three minutes, so I'm going to wrap this up. Um, I'm going to uh, just give you guys a little food for thought. I know I said not to do the bounty season, which I'm, if some of you did, I'm glad you didn't do it. Because, um, you know, it wasn't that great, and my dumb, I didn't want to participate in it, and I, I was upgrading something, and I think I uh, accidentally activated it, which was, eh, it was all right. But, you know, I got something really good out of it. I got the sloth, okay? But that'll be another build on another day. So um, if you like my videos, please rate, share, and subscribe. And just tell me what you think. You know, it's nothing major. You don't have to put in a big long sentence or anything like that. So, but uh, this is Mad Dog. I'm signing off. I will definitely talk to you guys next week. Stay frosty.